how to create a coloring book for Amazon KDP with Canva step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys each and every single thing that you need to do to create your own coloring book to sell on Amazon KDP. These are super easy to create and can be cute and interesting and can help you in generating passive revenue. So a lot of these coloring books that you're going to see on Amazon are actually KDP coloring books, which means that the printing and the delivery is handled by Amazon. And all you have to do is create the interior and the exterior pages. So you create the design and then after that, Canva is going to handle everything. So I have this coloring book that I really like and you guys can see they're using some really simple illustrations as coloring items which is called cute and groovy bold easy coloring book. So I want to build something inspired by this and you will see that this particular coloring book is an 8 by 8 inch coloring book. So we're going to get started with creating our book cover first. After we create our book cover, I'll show you guys how you can create the interior pages and then how to upload that onto Amazon KDP. So firstly, you're going to go into Amazon KDP's cover calculator. Then you're going to choose your binding type as well as your interior type. Then you're going to choose your paper as well as your reading direction and then measurement units. Then here comes the most important thing, which is your interior trim size. Now I'm selecting 8.5 by 8.5. However, your interior size and page count might differ. And if it is going to differ from mine, make sure to input your own measurements. And I'll tell you guys where you're going to find your own measurements as well. So go ahead and enter the page count that you want to create. Let's say I want to create 52 pages. And then after that, I will click on calculate dimensions. Once you click on calculate dimensions, click on download template. This will download a zip file and you're going to extract an image from that zip file. Simply open up your zip file to have these three sections where you have a PNG and a PDF. So from there, what you're going to do to start designing your book cover on Amazon is to go into Canva and then click on custom size. In your custom size, you're going to change it from pixels to inches. Once you change it to inches, go back into the cover calculator. You will see the section called full cover. You're going to copy the measurements of width and height from the full cover section. Simply add your width and then add your height. Now, previously it was really difficult to calculate these, but it has become really easy because now you just have to copy and paste these. But if you're trying to understand why it's so large, it is because the width is double the size of the original width as well as additional spine area as well as area for the bleed. And that is how the width is calculated. So click on create new design to get started. Once you create your new design, you're going to go on ahead and take that zipped file that you opened up and take that PNG and upload that into Canva. Once you upload that into Canva, you're going to see the option to expand that image and expand it. If you entered the correct dimensions, this particular image should fit in perfectly within the canvas size. From there, you're going to set up the transparency and then lock in this image. The reason that I like to lock this in is because it makes it easier for me to set up my design. Now, once I've done that, I want to create something inspired by this cute and groovy coloring book. So from here, I'm going to first set up a gradient and I'll just search for a gradient in elements. And I have a bunch of different graphics we can use. We also have photos that we can use. So I'm going to use this particular image as a background and I'm just going to expand that over here like so. Once I've done that, I will click on layer and send this backward. Now, when you do that, although this looks really weird, you have to do this to make sure that when you're putting in your titles and you're setting up the spine, everything, that is going to be set up in the proper placement. Now, after that, you're going to go ahead and add a simple white shape and then place it where your barcode is supposed to be. So I'm just going to resize this and then place it over here. So this just helps you in keeping in mind where each design element is going and what is going to be present. After that, we're going to go ahead and go into text and then click on add heading. We're going to add cute coloring book or stress relief like this. 
Now, this is a really nice title, but the style of the title is not interesting at all. So to make this more interesting, firstly, we're going to place it at the correct position like this. And this is the structure I want. So cute coloring book for stress relief, like so. And I'm going to reduce the font size as well, like this. Now, after I've placed this right at the center, I need to be able to set up an interesting font. So go ahead and go into fonts and then search for the type of font you're looking for. So this is this cute little font over here. I can pick out any font that I like. So just pick out a font that you think is going to suit your particular book. I really like this for my book. So I'm going to add this like so. And you will see the pattern in the back is going to help you in making sure that you're placing things at the correct position. Now, after that, I will add some elements. So I will just go into elements and search for cute. And then I can go into graphics and then I'll use these cute little illustrations of animals as well as florals. And we're going to add these together and we're just going to include a bunch of these different illustrations to make it easier for us. And these illustrations are just going to serve as a representative of what the people are going to receive internally. So make sure you're including the type of illustrations you're going to have inside the pages as well, like this. So we're going to include a bunch of these illustrations over here, like so. Now, once we've done that, we are going to click on share on the top right. And before you do that, you're actually going to unlock this image and then you're going to go into layers and then click on show all layers. Then at the bottom, you're going to find this original template image that you uploaded. So you're going to click on these three dots and you're going to delete that image. And now you have your complete book cover ready. Now from here, if I find my book cover to be a bit empty, I usually do include more illustrations as I go. So I'm going to add this over here like this. And then after that, I want to include this cute frog as well, like so, who is sitting over here. So like this, once we've included all our elements, we can go ahead and click on share, then click on download. Then we're going to download this as a PDF print. Click on download over here. And the first step of building your Amazon KDP coloring book is complete. Now, this is the internal page. Uh, this is actually the book cover and now we're going to build our internal pages so go back into your canva home and then you're going to choose your front cover area which is 8.5 by 8.5 so i'm just going to add 8.5 by 8.5 and then click on create new design once you click on create new design it's time to start building now one thing to note is that i like to open up different designs together and i like to add things as i go so simply go into elements and search for the type of element you're looking for. So firstly, I want to go ahead and search for stickers. No, these are all movement based stickers. So I want to search for cute animal. And after that, I'm going to go into graphics. And once you open up an illustration, you're going to see the option of whether or not this has um, outlines. So if the illustration does not have outlines, it means it cannot be colored. But illustrations like these do have outlines, which means that they can be colored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color from the top. You have the option to select these colors from here. And what you're going to do is you are just going to change all the colors to white. And now we have all these, you know, you have this cute little illustration over here. Now, once I've put the illustration at the center, make sure to comply with canvas copyright rules which means that i can't just make this one page with one illustration that i directly took from canva however if i search for grass over here and include multiple different illustrations together i'll search for grass outline and we have this little outline over here and we're just going to add a little bit of grass to our illustration like so and then after that, I'm going to search for sky outline. And then I'm going to go into the graphics section and I will add a few clouds on top. I don't think the clouds look nice. So I'll search for plant outline over here. And then I'll just go into graphics. And then after that, I am going to maybe take this plant over here and I'll resize that. And then I'll just place that at the back. And then I'm going to move this over here 
And just like that, we have a more interesting design. Now I can go ahead and search for cute outline to find any cute illustrations that are outline based, such as this cute little cow that I can duplicate in my page. And then I have a cow with my giraffe, or if I want, I can go on ahead and include another element. Then I'll click on add page. I'll add another element like so. You can easily include a bunch of these animals, a bunch of cute illustrations. Let's say I want to search for things such as maybe cute girly outline. And then after that, I can include things like these bows and I can include text as well. So you can actually take text like this and I'll click on add heading and I'm going to write I'm just a girl. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the font and then I'll choose a font that I like. And this might not be available on all fonts, so you have to choose a really simple font. Then click on effects over here, and then you're going to click on hollow. This will hollow out your text, and then people can color within the lines. So I'm going to write I'm just a girl as the key component, and I'll place that at the center. And then after that, I can place this bow over here, and then I'm going to search for arts outline. And now this will show me some heart based outline. So I'll take this one over here and I'll just resize this. And then I'm going to duplicate these over here and rotate these a little like so. And once I've completed this, we can get started with the rest of our pages. Now to make this easier, I can just click on the bottom right where it says grid view and I'll just copy these pages. So I'm just gonna do command C and command V. Obviously you have to design all 50 pages, but for the sake of this video, I am just going to take these pages and copy them together. So I have 52 pages. So I've designed these 52 illustrations. Then I can click on share on the top right and then click on download. You want to download this again as a PDF print because this is going to be printed by Amazon KDP. This is not going to be something that is going to remain digital. Now, once you have downloaded this as a PDF print, it is time to move towards the next step, which is going to be to actually upload this onto Amazon KDP. Now, although it seems pretty difficult to do that, it's really easy. Simply go ahead and go into your Amazon KDP account. From there, you're going to click on create. And once you click on create over here, you're going to start adding info about your book. So this is a paperback book. So we're going to click on paperback. Make sure that you selected paperback in your template info as well, because your template will be generated accordingly. Now, over here, we're gonna add our book title, which is going to be Cute Coloring Book for Stress Relief. And then after that, we're gonna add our subtitle for everyone looking for a break. Then after that, we can enter if this is a part of a series. So if you're building an animal coloring book series, you can add that as a series. You can also enter edition numbers and the author. So you're going to add yourself as the author like this. And then after that, we can add the contributors if there is any contributor to this particular book that you have created. Below that, you're going to enter the description. So I recommend making a really nice description so you guys can see this particular book has a nice description. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to alter this for mine, but I recommend using AI tools like ChatGPT, which is going to help you in creating interesting descriptors for your book. So handwritten pages ready for coloring, large, bold, easy designs, single-sided pages to prevent bleed through, convenient sizing as well. I would usually just put this in ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to rephrase this. So I'll just delete that and then I'll go into ChatGPT and then I will ask it to rephrase this. And once we do that, we will see that it is now rephrasing this. And then after that, we're just going to copy this and then add that into our KDP listing. And then after that, we are going to add our primary marketplace, which is Amazon. We are also going to add our publishing rights. So I own the copyright and I hold the publishing rights to this particular book. After that, we are going to add our audience. So if it has any explicit images or title and then a particular reading age. So there is no reading age for this and there is no maximum age for this as well. 
Then we have our categories. So you're going to click on categories and you're going to find a category that suits your particular uh, book. So we're going to add drawing as our category. Yeah. And once we do that, we can add another subcategory, figure drawing, pencil, ink, like this, and then click on save category. Once you do that, you have to classify as your type. So if this is a low content book, this is a low content book. And after that, we're going to add our keyword. So we're going to add coloring as our keyword, cute coloring book. Then it's going to be stress relief. And then we also might have animal coloring book that I'm going to add coloring book, the entire word. And you're going to include as many keywords as possible. Make sure to fill out all of these. So we're going to add stress relief coloring book like that. Once done, you will add your publication date and your release date. So if it was previously published or if this is the publication and release both. Then we also have our release date if it's not eligible. And then you can release my book for sale now. Click on save and continue. And the next step is going to be to actually, I won't add a reading age. So I'll just leave at select one. And the next step is to actually upload our content. Now from here, we're going to add our content. If you want to publish this with an ISBN or to add your own ISBN. Now I'm going to publish without an ISBN because this is not a high content book. So this is unique IDs that retailers or libraries use, and it's not necessary for this type of content. After that, you have your print options. If you want black and white with cream paper, with white color paper, or interior with premium color, we're going to go with standard black and white with white paper. Then you have your trim size, which is a different trim size. So click on select trim size and select your standard trim size. Now, if you cannot find that, you're going to just go on ahead and enter it. Mine is 8.5 by 8.5. So I'm just going to add that. Then you're going to add your bleed settings. So we're going to add no bleed. And then we're going to add our paperback cover finish. If I want it to be glossy or matte. I'm going to make this matte and I can upload my manuscript. This is your book's interior, which means it is these pages. So your 51 pages or however many pages you designed, you're going to upload these in your manuscript. So we're going to open back our Amazon KDP and then click on upload manuscript. From there, we're going to go ahead and add our PDF with our 51 pages. Make sure that your page size was accurate to your template size because if it is not, your printing is going to look off. We're going to wait for our upload to be completed. Then we have our Amazon cover creator. We've already created our book with our Canva template. So you don't have to create the uh, book cover with Amazon's book cover because book cover creator, because it's not as effective as using Canva is. So click on upload cover. You're not going to launch the cover creator. I did that by, by mistake over here. I'm just going to go back and we're going to go ahead and upload our book cover. Upload a cover you already have, upload your cover file, and then upload this file over here that we created at the start of this video. Then you're going to add whether or not this has AI generated content. So because this is a coloring book, it does not have any AI generated content. So we're gonna add no. And then we can add a book previewer, and then we can click on save and continue to move towards our final step. So we're going to launch our previewer and then move towards our final step, which is pricing our book. So currently it is processing our manuscript and book cover to generate a print ready file. And this can take several minutes, so you do have to wait a bit. And then after that, you're just going to select the pricing and then upload your coloring book on Amazon KDP. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with publishing your own any type of book journal on Amazon KDP. And you will see if there are any errors of margins, it will tell you about those errors. So make sure to review any errors that you have and you can approve or exit the print previewer. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.